My name is Terry Kubat. I'm a partner and software engineer at Integrated Engineering Software. And I would like to talk to you about exporting from ShapeBuilder to Visual Analysis. The purpose of today's talk is to get design checks out of your custom shapes. And I will demonstrate how easy this is to do. So here I am in ShapeBuilder and I have a custom wide flange shape that I've just dropped in. And I can go to the export dialog and specify a database and a category and I am going to create a new category for wide flange shapes and I'm just going to call it wide flange all one word here all right and I'll give my shape a name W and now the real trick to this whole system for getting design checks is choosing an appropriate shape type this is an I shape or an I beam and you'll notice our database shape has more um, possibilities than what I've done here with kind of a, a built-up shape. We could have rounded fillets and corners. If this shape type is disabled, it's because you've selected a category that has shapes in it already. So you need to either choose a, a different category or create a new one. I'm going to fill in my required properties here. I don't really have uh, fillets, so I'm just going to use really small values for that. And I can move on. Shape Builder tells me that the shape has been exported, and now we can go run visual analysis. And once that comes up, it, if you had visual analysis running, you should restart it because it loads the shape database on startup. So I can draw in a member here, and I'm just going to uh, fix the ends so that I can get design checks and I'm going to select my new shape so I go to the database find my category test find my new wide flange category and my only W shape in there put it in run the analysis and get design checks and there's not much to check here I don't have any forces but you can see how easy it is Okay, now that we've seen how easy it is, let's talk about some of the nuances. You can export all kinds of shapes from ShapeBuilder as long as they're non-composite. And in, with those shapes, you can get analysis in visual analysis and a pretty picture in the picture view. But if you want design checks, you have to limit yourself to the three main categories listed here. Steel shapes, aluminum shapes, and wood shapes that fit within the existing profiles in our database. If you want to use cold form shapes, you have to use the third party RSG uh, CFS tool, which is described more in the help file. There are some design checks limitations, and that is, I mentioned, you have to match the profiles in the existing IES database for shapes. So visual analysis knows how to design a wide flange for hot rolled steel, for example, but there is no bent hat shape in the AISC steel database. So you can export a shape like that and get design checks in visual analysis. Similarly, if you build up or cut down regular shapes uh, in ways that would change B over T ratios, for example, th those will not be supported. There are two databases behind the scenes, and you really don't need to know or care about this too much. ShapeBuilder handles the details for you, but it's important to note um, if you're backing up your files or uh, moving them to another machine that visual analysis is, uses one set of files and ShapeBuilder and some of our newer products use a different set of database files that's a, a little bit better system. The real key to getting design checks is uh, categories. When you put your shapes in the database they go into a file and then a subcategory and that subcategory defines the de design type and it also defines a single default uh, material that's used in visual analysis when you drop that shape in. You can't mix shapes of different types in one category. So if the export dialog isn't allowing you to change the design type, it's because you've selected a category that already has shapes in it. Here's a picture of the dialog that we saw earlier. Uh, and again, the key to design in visual analysis is the shape type, which is 
down in the lower left hand corner and if this is disabled it's because you've selected a category that already defines that design type. The other key is these required properties over here. Shape Builder um, doesn't really understand the nuances of all the shape databases and you can create shapes in Shape Builder in a variety of ways such as building up rectangles or importing a polygon from DXF. And so Shape Builder doesn't necessarily understand all of the properties that um, dimension a shape. And so you have to fill these in. And Shape Builder typically either has those or lets you get them really easily. So if you don't have them, you can just cancel this dialog, go back, find them, and then start over. Once you create your custom shapes and get them into the database, they go into a file in the App Data Local IES folder. And you can get at this folder either from Visual Analysis or from Shape Builder in order to um, copy your files to another machine or back them up. You don't have to worry about these files being disturbed by an uninstall or reinstall. We recognize customized data and we do not uninstall anything like that. So your data is safe on your machine unless your hard drive crashes or something. That's it. It's pretty easy to get design checks for many shapes from Shape Builder into Visual Analysis. So I appreciate your watching. If you have questions, address those please to support at isweb.com.